The University of Georgia, also referred to as UGA or simply Georgia, is a public research university with its main campus in Athens, Georgia. Founded in 1785, it is one of three schools to claim the title of the oldest public university in the United States. The university is classified by the Carnegie Classification of Institutions of Higher Education as a research I university. It also classifies the student body as more selective, its most selective admissions category, while the ACT Assessment Student Report places UGA in the highly selective category, the highest category. The university is tied for 13th overall among all public national universities in the 2019 U.S. News & World Report rankings, and a Kiplinger's and Princeton Review Top 10 in value. The university is organized into 17 constituent schools and colleges offering more than 140 degree programs. The university's historic North Campus is listed on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places as a designated historic district. The contiguous campus areas include rolling hills, gardens, and extensive green space including nature walks, fields, shrubbery, and large and varied arboreta. Close to the contiguous campus is the university's 58-acre health sciences campus that also has an extensive landscaped green space, more than 400 trees, and several additional historic buildings. Athens has consistently ranked among America's best college towns primarily due to its vibrant restaurant, bar, and music scenes. In addition to the main campus in Athens with its approximately 460 buildings, the university has two smaller campuses located in Tifton and Griffin. The university has two satellite campuses located in Atlanta and Lawrenceville. The university operates several service and outreach stations spread across the state. The total acreage of the university in 30 Georgia counties is 41,539 acres 168.10 square kilometers. The university also owns a residential and research center in Washington, D.C., and three international residential and research centers located at Oxford University in Oxford, England, at Cortona, Italy, and at Monteverde, Costa Rica. Varsity and intramural student athletics are an integral part of student life. The University of Georgia's intercollegiate sports teams, commonly known by their Georgia Bulldogs nickname, compete in National Collegiate Athletic Association NCAA Division I and the Southeastern Conference SEC. UGA served as a founding member of the SEC in 1932. In their more than 120-year history, the university's varsity sports teams have won 39 national championships and 130 conference championships. The Georgia Redcoat Marching Band, the official marching band of the university, performs at athletic and other events. According to the 2018-2019 estimated cost of attendance, based on a nine-month academic year for an average undergraduate student, the tuition and fees for Georgia residents is $11,830, and $30,404 for non-residents. The tuition and fees for an average international undergraduate student based on a nine-month academic year is $30,392. Topic history Topic Antebellum history In 1784, Lyman Hall, then governor of Georgia, persuaded the Georgia legislature to grant 40,000 acres 160 square kilometers for the purposes of founding a college or seminary of learning. Beside Hall, Credit for founding the university goes to Abraham Baldwin who wrote the original charter for University of Georgia UGA. Originally from Connecticut, Baldwin graduated from and later taught at Yale University before moving to Georgia. The Georgia General Assembly approved Baldwin's charter on January 27, 1785 and UGA became the first university in the United States to gain a state charter. Considered one of the founding fathers of the United States, Baldwin would later represent Georgia in the 1786 Constitutional Convention. The task of creating the university was given to the Senatus Academicus, which consisted of the Board of Visitors, made up of the Governor, all State Senators, all Superior Court Judges and a few other public officials and the Board of Trustees, a body of 14 appointed members that soon became self-perpetuating. The first meeting of the university's Board of Trustees was held in Augusta, Georgia on February 13, 1786. The meeting installed Baldwin as the university's first president. For the first 16 years of the school's history, the University of Georgia only existed on paper. By the new century, a committee was appointed to find suitable land to establish a campus. Committee member John Millage purchased 633 acres of land on the west bank of the Oconee River and immediately gifted it to the university. 
This tract of land, now a part of the consolidated city county of Athens Clark County, Georgia, was then part of Jackson County. As of 2013, 37 acres of that land remained as part of the North Campus. Because Baldwin was elected to the U.S. Senate, the school needed a new president. Baldwin chose his former student and fellow professor at Yale, Josiah Meigs, as his replacement. Meigs became the school's president, as well as the first and only professor. After traveling the state to recruit a few students, Meigs opened the school with no building in the fall of 1801. The first school building patterned after Yale's Connecticut Hall was built the year later. Yale's early influence on the new university extended into the classical curriculum with emphasis on Latin and Greek. By 1803, the students formed a debate society, Demosthenian Literary Society. Meigs had his first graduating class of nine by 1804. In 1806, the school dedicated the first legacy building, Franklin College, named after Benjamin Franklin. The building is now known as Old College, after the tenure of the next two presidents, John Brown (1811–1816) and Robert Finley (1819). A time frame which saw enrollment drop. Presidents Moses Waddell (1819–1829) and Alonzo S. Church (1829–1859) worked to re-engage new students. By 1859, enrollment had risen to 100 students. The university employed eight faculty members and opened a new law school. During this time frame, the university erected the new college building followed by the chapel in 1832. Church was the longest serving president in UGA history. In 1859, the state legislature abolished the Senatus Academicus, leaving the Board of Trustees as the only official governing body. When Church retired, Andrew A. Lipscomb was appointed to the newly renamed position of Chancellor in 1860. Topic Civil War era and late 19th century UGA closed in September 1863 due to the Civil War and reopened in January 1866 with an enrollment of about 80 students including veterans using an award of $300 granted by the General Assembly to former soldiers under an agreement that they would remain in Georgia as teachers after graduation. The university received additional funding through the 1862 Morrill Act which was used to create land-grant colleges across the nation. In 1872, the $243,000 federal allotment to Georgia was invested to create a $16,000 annual income used to establish the Georgia State College of Agriculture and Mechanic Arts A&M, initially separate and independent from the UGA. However, A&M's funding was considered part of the university, which helped save it from bankruptcy during the Reconstruction era. As a land-grant school, UGA was required to provide military training which the university began to offer in the 1870s. Several of the university's extracurricular organizations began in the late 1800s. In 1886, fraternities at UGA began publishing the school's yearbook, the Pandora. The same year, the university gained its first intercollegiate sport when a baseball team was formed, followed by a football team formed in 1892. Both teams played in a small field west of campus now known as Hurdy Field. The Demosthenian and Phi Kappa Literary Societies together formed the student paper, The Red and Black, in 1883. In 1894, UGA joined six other southeastern schools to form the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Association SIAA. Topic Early 20th century The turn of the century brought many changes in the administration and organization of the university including the naming of a new chancellor in 1899. Walter B. Hill became the first UGA alumnus to lead the university. A progressive and enlightened leader, his six-year tenure, before his death from pneumonia, was marked with increased enrollment, expansion of the university's course offerings, and the addition of state funding through appropriation, for the first time bringing the university's annual income to over $100,000 in 1902. Hill and his successors David C. Barrow 1906 to 1925, Charles Snelling 1926 to 1932, Stedman Sanford 1932 to 1935 would grow the school to take on the role of a true university. Many of the university's schools and colleges were established during Barrow's tenure. The School of Pharmacy 1903, the School of Forestry 1906, the School of Education 1908, the Graduate School 1910, the School of Commerce 1912, the School of Journalism 1915, and the Division of Home Economics 1918 were all established during this period. 
In 1906, UGA also incorporated the College of Agriculture by bringing together A&M and another College of Science and Engineering, both formed in the previous century. Connor Hall became the first building built in South Campus and first of several buildings that housed the university's agriculture programs on what came to be known as Ag Hill. In 1914, the first Phi Beta Kappa chapter in the state of Georgia was founded at UGA. In 1923, another honor society, Phi Kappa Phi, established a chapter at the university. In 1920, UGA's athletic program was among 14 of the 30 universities to leave the SIAA to form the Southern Conference, with students limited to white males for the first century of its history. University of Georgia began admitting white female students during the summer of 1903 as postgraduate students to the State Normal School established in 1893 a few miles west of the campus. When UGA established a graduate school in 1910, female students were permitted to attend summer classes and some were also unofficially allowed to attend regular classes as well. However, at that time only junior college transfers majoring in home economics were integrated into regular courses. Before official admission of women to the university, several women were able to complete graduate degrees through credit earned during the summer sessions. The first white woman to earn such a degree was Mary Dorothy Linden. She received a Master of Arts degree in 1914. Women were admitted as full-time undergraduates in 1918. Mary Ethel Cresswell earned a B.S. in Home Economics in June 1919, becoming the first women to earn an undergraduate degree at the university. Two UGA dormitories were later named after these graduates, Mary Linden Hall and Cresswell Hall. In 1920, the university opened its first women's dormitory, Seoul Hall. In 1932, the reorganization of the university's administrative structure continued through the establishment of the University System of Georgia USG, which brought UGA along with several other public colleges in the state under the control of a single board of regents. The State Normal School later State Teachers College was fully absorbed by the College of Education, with the former's previous campus becoming UGA's coordinate campus. UGA and Georgia Tech traded several school programs, all engineering programs except agriculture were transferred to Georgia Tech and UGA received Georgia Tech's commerce program in return. The title of the university's lead administrator was changed from chancellor back to the original title of president. Sanford was named UGA's first president since 1860 and was succeeded by Harmon Caldwell 1935-1948. In 1933, the Division of Home Economics was reorganized as the School of Home of Economics, with UGA's first female graduate Cresswell appointed as dean. The university also became a founding member of the Southeastern Conference SEC and established the University of Georgia Press in 1938. Throughout this period, UGA's enrollment grew every year with student population reaching 3,000 by 1937 and almost 4,000 by 1941. Through President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal, UGA received a $2 million infusion of funding and an additional $1 million from the state legislature. The university used the new funds to make a number of improvements to the campus from 1936 to the early 1940s. Many renovation projects were undertaken including the establishment of five new residence halls, a dining hall, eight new academic buildings, a nursery school and several auxiliary facilities. An engineering professor Rudolf Driftmeyer and architect Roy Hitchcock were responsible for the design of several buildings in the neoclassical style, giving the campus a homogeneous and distinctive appearance. The funds were also used to pave roads, build sidewalks and improve the campus's landscaping. Topic. Racial integration and the mid-20th century The Dean of the College of Education in 1941, Walter Cocking, was fired by Georgia Governor Eugene Talmadge in a controversial decision known as the Cocking Affair. Talmadge was motivated by his belief that Cocking favored racial integration. The governor's interference in the workings of USG's Board of Regents prompted a response by the Southern Association of Colleges and Secondary Schools which stripped UGA and nine other schools in the system of their accreditation. The issue became a major point of contention in Talmadge's 1942 re-election campaign. 
After his loss, a constitutional amendment passed by the state legislature gave the Board of Regents independence from political interference, which led to the schools quickly regaining their accreditation. As the United States entered World War II, enrollment among male students dropped significantly, allowing female students to outnumber male students for the first time in the school's history. In 1945, UGA accepted a donation of about 100 paintings from the New York art collector Alfred Holbrook and created the Georgia Museum of Art. In 1946, the School of Veterinary Medicine was re-established as a separate school, 13 years after it was discontinued as part of the Agricultural College. The following year, the quarterly literary journal The Georgia Review began publication. After Jonathan Rogers' brief tenure as president 1949-1950, Omer Clyde Adderhold started his 17-year-long stint as UGA president. During his tenure, the university sold coordinate campus to the U.S. Navy. He opened the school's main library, the ILAH Dunlap Little Memorial Library, in 1952, and in 1964, established the School of Social Work. The university also built a new science center on South Campus consisting of six buildings. After Ugga's Pharmacy School moved to the new facility on the South Campus, the two portions of the campus took on distinct characteristics, with North Campus focused on arts, humanities, and law, and South Campus focused on natural sciences and agricultural programs. UGA was racially integrated in 1961, with the admission of Hamilton E. Holmes and Charlene Hunter. Holmes and Hunter, who were previously denied admission in 1959, were allowed to enroll in spring 1961 after filing a lawsuit against the university in U.S. District Court. On January 9, 1961, three days after the court decision granting them admission, Holmes and Hunter walked through the arch and into the academic building to register for classes. On the 40th anniversary of the event, the university renamed the very same prominent campus building where they registered as the Holmes Hunter Academic Building. Holmes graduated Phi Beta Kappa and was the first African American student to attend the Emory University School of Medicine, where he earned his MD in 1967 and later became a professor of orthopedics and associate dean. Hunter, later, Hunter Galt graduated with a degree in journalism and had an exceptional career, earning several awards including two Emmys and a Peabody for Excellence in Broadcast Journalism. In June 1961, Holmes and Hunter were joined by another African-American, Mary Frances Early, who transferred to the school as a graduate student. Before Holmes and Hunter, Early became the first African-American to graduate from UGA in 1962. The College of Education later established a professorship in her honor. Topic. Late 20th century In 1968, Fred Davison was appointed UGA president and served in the position for 19 years. During his tenure, the school's research budget increased from $15.6 million to more than $90 million. UGA inaugurated the School of Environmental Design, was designated as a C. Grant College, and built 15 new buildings on campus. By the 1970s, the University of Georgia ranked among the top 50 research universities in the U.S. and in 1973, the Carnegie Commission on Higher Education designated UGA as Research I University. By the time the school celebrated its bicentennial with a 15-month-long celebration, student enrollment had grown to about 25,000. In the end, Davison's tenure as president was marred by the controversy surrounding the dismissal of Jan Kemp, a faculty member who also tutored student athletes. Kemp filed a lawsuit against the university which garnered national media attention and led to criticism of UGA's lax academic standards for students in its athletic programs. The courts awarded Kemp more than $1 million, leading to Davison's resignation in 1986. A former president of the University of Miami, Henry King Stanford, briefly served as interim president before the appointment of Charles Knapp in 1987. Together with UGA alumnus and Georgia Governor Zell Miller, Knapp helped establish the state's Hope Scholarship in 1993 with funds appropriated from the new state lottery. The campus hosted three events in the 1996 Summer Olympics, rhythmic gymnastics, volleyball, and the finals in women's soccer. In 1997, Knapp was succeeded by Michael Adams who served as UGA president for 16 years, well into the 21st century. 21st century 
Adams began a strategic plan to grow the university's academic programs in the new century. In 2001, UGA inaugurated the College of Environment and Design and the School of Public and International Affairs, the first new schools to open since 1964. The strategic plan also chose medicine and health sciences as a major focus of growth and development. Together with Provost Karen Holbrook and Arnett Mace who succeed Holbrook, Adams opened the Biomedical and Health Sciences Institute, the UGA Cancer Center, the Center for Tropical and Emerging Global Diseases, and the Regenerative Bioscience Center. In 2005, the College of Public Health was created to bring together the various medical and health sciences programs. In 2011, UGA purchased back the former campus of the State Normal School from the U.S. Navy to create the UGA Health Sciences Campus in partnership with the Georgia Health Sciences University now known as Augusta University. The newly reacquired campus also became home to the College of Public Health. The Odom School of Ecology 2007 and the College of Engineering 2012 became the fourth and fifth schools to open during Adams's tenure. After Adams's retirement on June 30, 2013, Jerry Moorhead was appointed as UGA's 22nd president. Moorhead is an alumnus of UGA's law school and previously served as provost and vice president of academic affairs. Under Moorhead, UGA continues its focus on research with a $458 million budget as of the 2017 fiscal year, placing 54th on the National Science Foundation rankings. In 2015, the College of Veterinary Medicine moved its teaching hospital to a new off-campus facility, leaving its previous building vacant. Two students became recipients of Rhodes Scholarships in 2013 and 2017, respectively, bringing the total number of students to receive the honor in UGA's history to 24. As of 2017, UGA ranked 13th among leading institutions by study abroad total, published in the Open Doors Report of the Institute of International Education. In September 2017, UGA used a combination of private and public funds to complete the second of three phases to build the Terry College of Business Complex. The project has four buildings completed and will include a total of six buildings upon completion of the third phase. Topic organization and administration The president of the University of Georgia Jerry Moorhead, is the head administrator and is appointed and overseen by the Georgia Board of Regents. University of Georgia has had 22 presidents since its founding in 1785. Each individual college and school is headed by a dean. The university is composed of 17 schools and colleges, and although some divisions use college and some use school, the title does not indicate any distinction between the 17 colleges and schools that constitute the university. The university is also home to the University of Georgia, Medical College of Georgia Medical Partnership that provides education leading to the Doctor of Medicine MD degree and facilitates for medically related education and research at the University of Georgia. Topic campus The University of Georgia's main campus sits across from the acclaimed college town of Athens, Georgia, whose dominant architectural themes are federal, the older buildings, and classical and antebellum style. The university is home to the University of Georgia Campus Arboretum. Situated on a 762-acre main campus, in 2012 the university had a workforce of more than 9,800, an annual budget of about $1.49 billion only 29% provided by the state of Georgia, and a physical plant valued at some $600 million, making it one of the largest employers in Georgia and a major contributor to the state's economic and cultural vitality. Transit at the University of Georgia is maintained by UGA Campus Transit. Athens has been named one of the top ten places in America to live and is home to many popular music artists including the American rock bands REM and Widespread Panic. UGA has been ranked number one among campus scenes that rock by Rolling Stone magazine. Every summer since 1996 the city has hosted Athfest, a non-profit music and arts festival in the downtown area. While university students can enjoy the college town of Athens, they are less than an hour away by automobile from a large metropolitan city, Atlanta, Georgia, a designated global city. In the recent years, neighboring cities such as Gainesville, Georgia and Metro Atlanta have experienced considerable growth. Although there have been many additions, changes, and augmentations, the University of Georgia's campus maintains its historic character. The historical practice has been to divide the 762-acre main campus into two sections, North Campus and South Campus. 
Since 1995, new facilities serving the arts, academics, fitness and student housing have been built on what has come to be known as East Campus. This area includes new apartment-like dorms called East Campus Village. Adjacent is the newest and fourth dining hall on campus called the Village Summit at Joe Frank Harris Commons. Also on East Campus is the Performing and Visual Arts Complex, the Ramsey Center for Physical Activity and the relocated Lamar Dodd School of Art. West Campus refers to the area adjacent to the main campus where many of UGA's largest residence halls are located. Most freshmen live in one of the high-rise dorms on West Campus. Tradition maintains that UGA's oldest permanent building, Old College, is modeled on Yale University's Connecticut Hall. UGA's North Campus contains the picturesque historic buildings, such as the Chapel, New College, Demosthenian and the Phi Kappa Halls, Park Hall, Meigs Hall, and the President's Office, as well as modern additions such as the Law School and the Main Library. The dominant architectural themes are Federal, the older buildings, and Greco-Roman classical, antebellum style. UGA's campus has also been designated an arboretum by the state of Georgia. A notable North Campus fixture is the cast iron gateway that stands at its main entrance. Known as the Arch, but often erroneously pluralized to the Arches, the structure was patterned after the seal of the state of Georgia, and has faced historic downtown Athens ever since it was erected in the 1850s. Although the seal's three pillars represent the state's three branches of government, the pillars of the arch are usually taken to represent the Georgia Constitution's three principles of wisdom, justice, and moderation, which are engraved over the pillars of the seal. There is a superstition about walking through the arch. It is said that if you walk under the arch as an undergraduate student, you will not graduate from the University of Georgia on time. Another legend claims that should you walk through the arch as a freshman, you will become sterile. The steps lining the arch are noticeably worn due to students avoiding walking under the arch. Dividing North and South Campus is the Central Campus area, home of the University Bookstore, Tate Student Center, and Miller Learning Center, as well as Sanford Stadium, home of the football team. Adjacent to the stadium is a bridge that crosses Tanyard Creek and is the traditional crossover into South Campus, home of most of the science and agricultural classroom buildings. Further south and east, across East Campus Road, is East Campus, home of the Ramsey Center, the East Campus Village apartment-style dormitories, and several fine arts facilities, including the Georgia Museum of Art and the Hugh Hodgson School of Music. A new facility for the art school opened its doors in the fall of 2008. This new state-of-the-art facility replaced the elder that was placed on North Campus. Adjacent to the campus is the West Campus area. This extends from the corner of Britain Avenue and Lumpkin Street in the south to Waddell and Ray Streets in the north. It is bordered along the east by Lumpkin Street and on the west by Church Street south of Baxter Street and Florida Avenue to the north. Located on the south end are several dormitories including the Hill Community, Oglethorpe House, Cresswell Hall, Brumby Hall and Russell Hall. Also located here are Legion Field and Pool, which are recreational facilities. In 2011, the University of Georgia acquired the former U.S. Navy Supply Corps School on the Medical Corridor of Prince Avenue near downtown Athens. The two primary occupants of the 56-acre Health Sciences campus are the OUGA Medical Partnership and the UGA College of Public Health. The campus has an extensive landscaped green space, more than 400 trees and several historic buildings. The majority of classes for both medical and public health students are held in Russell Hall, not to be confused with the South Campus Undergraduate Residence Hall, which was built in 1974. The nearly 63,000 square foot building includes rooms for small group and clinical skills teaching, a lab for gross anatomy, pathology and histology, a medical library, faculty offices, and classroom space. The OUGA Medical Partnership Administrative Offices are housed in Winnie Davis Hall, which was built in 1902. In 2013, it was announced that St. Mary's Hospital, Northeast Georgia Health System and Athens Regional Medical Center would be utilized as teaching hospitals and residency sites for the medical partnership students. The College of Public Health's Administrative Offices are housed in Rhodes Hall, which was built in 1906. Six of the college's seven units are now located on the Health Sciences campus, including the Institute of Gerontology in Hudson Hall, the Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics in B.S. 
Miller Hall, and Departments of Health Policy and Management and Health Promotion and Behavior in Wright Hall. Topic. Ramsey Student Center The Ramsey Student Center is the student recreational and athletic facility located on East Campus. The Ramsey Center is one of the largest student athletic recreation facilities in the United States. It was built and named in honor of Bernard and Eugenia Ramsey. The campus's eight-acre Ramsey Student Center for Physical Activities has two gyms, three pools one Olympic-sized, a 17-foot diving well, and a lap pool, a 1-8-mile indoor suspended rubberized track, a 44-feet high climbing wall, 14-foot outdoor bouldering wall, 10 racquetball courts, two squash courts, bicycle repair stands, eight full-length basketball courts, and 19,000 square feet 1,770 square meters of weight training space. The Ramsey Center also contains the Gabrielson Natatorium that is home to the university's varsity swimming and diving programs and seats almost 2,000 spectators. This $40 million structure was named by Sports Illustrated as the best recreational sports facility in the country for the year 1997. Men's Fitness named UGA as one of the 25 fittest colleges in America. Franklin Residential College Franklin Residential College FRC is a residential college, based on the Oxford and Cambridge model. It is a collaboration of the Franklin College of Arts and Sciences, the University Housing Office, and the Vice President of Instruction. It was founded in 2000. The home of the college is Rutherford Hall, which was built in the late 1930s. Students in the Franklin College of Arts and Sciences may apply for a space at the FRC during the spring semester of every year. Members are admitted by a committee of current students on the basis of their interest in and commitment to participating in the community of a residential college. A faculty family also lives in Rutherford Hall in the apartment located on the first floor. The faculty family regularly hosts students in their apartment for special events. The residence family works together with the senior dean to develop programs and activities for the students involved in the FRC. Topic Tate Student Center and the Tate II expansion On April 19, 2007, ground was officially broken for the $52 million Tate Student Center expansion and renovation project. A multi-level parking deck began the first phase of the construction on which the new student center was built. Tate II officially opened its doors on June 1, 2009. Included in the new student center is, an 11,000 square foot 1,000 square meters multipurpose space on the fifth floor, a dining room, meeting rooms, and lounge seating on the fourth floor, a food court, retail space, print and copy services, a large lounge area, gaming area, and open performance space on the third floor. The new food court is operated by UGA Food Services. It includes hotes, a hibachi-style grill, red clay cafe at Tate, and barberitos. Some of the amenities, such as the Bulldog Café and the Tate Theater, will remain in the old Tate Center. The total cost of the new expansion is approximately $58.2 million. The building is LEED certified. Construction on the $13.5 million, 500-space Tate Student Center parking deck was underway through May 2009. Topic Lamar Dodd School of Art Building Construction on the $39.2 million, 171,000 square feet 15,900 square meters Lamar Dodd School of Art was underway through spring 2008. The site is just south of the existing performing and visual arts complex on East Campus. In 2012, the College of Environmental Design's $10.4 million Visual Arts Building became the first UGA building to incorporate a water reclamation system and it became the first UGA building to utilize solar harvesting technology. The building is LEED certified. Topic Zell B. Miller Learning Center The $43.6 million Zell B. Miller Learning Center MLC has been the largest academic building on the University of Georgia campus since its opening in the autumn of 2003 when it was called the Student Learning Center SLC. Located at the heart of the UGA campus, it houses both classroom space and library space in close proximity. On the inside is a technological space that includes two dozen classrooms capable of seating 2,400 students and equipped with the latest technology. 
The building serves as an expansion of UGA library services, with a completely electronic library, 276,000 square feet square meters of actual floor space. The center houses advanced learning labs dedicated to instruction in electronic research sources, information literacy skills, software applications, and faculty development, as well as faculty rest areas and meeting spaces. The Learning Center also includes an art gallery by Venezuelan-born painter Patricia Van Dahlen. Topic: <laughs> University of Georgia Atlanta and Gwinnett campuses. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> University of Georgia 4H service centers. The University of Georgia operates five 4-H centers around the state of Georgia, Fortson 4-H Center, in the southern metro Atlanta area, Jekyll Island 4-H Center and Tybee Island 4-H Center on the Georgia coast, Rock Eagle 4-H Center in Eatonton, Georgia, and Wasega 4-H Center, in the North Georgia Mountains. The university is also responsible for two other land holdings. These centers, operated in part by the University of Georgia College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences, serve as educational facilitates for youth. Georgia 4-H specializes in educating young people about agricultural and environmental issues, agriculture awareness, leadership, communication skills, foods and nutrition, health, energy conservation, and citizenship. The 4-H centers also operate several summer camps for young people. The total usage of the 4-H facilities in FY 2001 was 95,995 people, of this total 59,180 elementary, middle and high school students participated in 4-H sponsored events or activities. Many of the other user groups are related to various University of Georgia, University of Georgia Cooperative Extension Service, Board of Regents and other educational conferences throughout the year. Topic. Georgia Museum of Art The Georgia Museum of Art is an academic museum at the University of Georgia and the State of Georgia's official art museum. Located on Uggas East Campus since 1996, it houses a collection of nearly 10,000 works of art, including American paintings, works by self-taught artists, decorative arts, works by African American artists, a crest study collection of Italian Renaissance and Baroque paintings and one of the largest and finest collections of works on paper prints, drawings, watercolors, photographs, and more in the Southeast. Admission is always free, as are almost all events the museum organizes. Its staff collaborate regularly with UGA faculty all over campus to organize temporary exhibitions and accommodate classes for tours and behind-the-scenes research. <laughs> Georgia Museum of Natural History The Georgia Museum of Natural History provides Joshua Larum Academic Support Awards annually. The awards are named after Dr. Joshua Larum, a professor at the University of Georgia who died in 1997. Topic: <laughs> Richard B. Russell Special Collections Libraries. The $46 million Libraries Building, named in honor of former Senator and Governor Richard Russell, Jr., who spent a half-century in public service, houses the General Library Holdings as well as the Hargret Rare Book and Manuscript Library, the Walter J. Brown Media Archives, the Peabody Awards Collection, and the Richard B. Russell Library for Political Research and Studies. UGA has partnered with the Digital Public Library of America, an ambitious project to make the nation's archives digital, searchable and freely accessible. The Special Collections Library is not to be confused with the Alexander Campbell King Law Library which is the Law Library of the University of Georgia School of Law. The Alexander Campbell King Law Library is located on North Campus. The Hargret Rare Book and Manuscript Library the Hargret Rare Book and Manuscript Library, a leading repository on history and culture, holds 200,000 volumes in its rare book and Georgiana collections, 6 million pages of historical manuscripts and photographs, along with maps, broadsides, and two centuries worth of UGA archives and records. Other areas of emphasis at the Hargret Library include performing arts and natural history. Holdings date from the 15th century to the present, the Richard B. 
Russell Library for Political Research and Studies The Richard B. Russell Library for Political Research and Studies is a political archives and center for the research and study of politics and public policy with an emphasis on the role of the U.S. Congress. It maintains over 150 collections and is one of three special collections at the University of Georgia dedicated to preserving and providing access to a variety of archival materials in all formats that document a wide array of subject matter. The Russell Library is not the official name of the main library of which it is a part. The official name of the main library at UGA is ILAH Dunlap Little Library. The Walter J. Brown Media Archives and Peabody Awards Collection The Walter J. Brown Media Archives and Peabody Awards Collection was started in 1995 and preserves over 250,000 titles in film, video, audiotape, transcription discs, and other recording formats dating from the 1920s to the present. The archives are housed in the Richard B. Russell Building Special Collections Libraries on the northwest part of the University of Georgia campus. The Peabody Awards Collection is the flagship of the archives collection, and contains nearly every entry for the first major broadcast award given in the United States. The judging for the Peabody Awards is conducted by the Peabody Awards Office in the Grady College of Journalism and Mass Communication from a panel of distinguished television scholars, critics, and media professionals. The awards ceremony is held every year in New York City in late spring. Topic the Georgia Review The Georgia Review is a literary journal founded at University of Georgia in 1947. The review features poetry, fiction, essays, reviews, and visual art. It won National Magazine Awards for Fiction in 1986 and for Essays in 2007 and has been an NMA nominee 19 times. Works that appear in the Georgia Review are frequently reprinted in the Best American Short Stories and the Best American Poetry and have won the Pushcart Prize and O. Henry Award. Topic University of Georgia Press The University of Georgia Press is a scholarly publishing house for the University System of Georgia. It is one of the oldest and largest publishing academic publishing houses in the nation, and has been one of 130 full members of the prestigious Association of American University Presses since 1940. Employing 24 full-time publishing professionals, the press publishes 80 to 85 new books a year and has more than 1,500 titles in print. The press published each year scholarly, academic, and literary works. It is also a leading publisher of African American studies, civil rights history, and environmental studies. The Flannery O'Connor Award for Short Fiction was established in 1983 to recognize gifted young writers. The press is also a longtime publisher of creative writing through books published in conjunction with the Flannery O'Connor Award for Short Fiction, the Association of Writers and Writing Programs, Associated Writers and Writing Programs Award for Creative Nonfiction, and other literary competitions and series. The publishing program has been nationally recognized, and in recent years a number of books published by the press have won major awards. Topic the State Botanical Garden of Georgia The State Botanical Garden of Georgia is a 313-acre preserve set aside by the University of Georgia in 1968 for the study and enjoyment of plants and nature. Located three miles south of campus, it is a living laboratory serving educational, research, recreational, and public service roles for the University of Georgia and the citizens. The garden contains a number of specialized theme gardens and collections, over five miles of nature trails, and four major facilities including a tropical conservatory. Topic University of Georgia Campus and Thomas Mill Forest Arboreta The University of Georgia Campus Arboretum is an arboretum located across the campus in Athens. Today's campus arboretum is organized into three walking tours through the north, central, and south campus. A free booklet provides maps and tree identification, and more than 150 campus trees are marked by plaques corresponding to the booklet. There are 45 species of trees on the North Campus, the President's Club Garden and the Latin American Ethnobotanical Garden. The President's Club Garden recognizes those who gave $10,000 or greater to the University of Georgia. Their names are inscribed on the plaques that line the brick walls. The Latin American Ethnobotanical Garden is located at the southeast corner of Baldwin Hall, near the corner of Baldwin Street and East Campus Road. 
It highlights plants of cultural significance in Latin America and focuses attention on the critical need for conservation of this biodiversity. The Campus Arboretum should not be confused with State Arboretum of Georgia, deeded as a gift to, and also operated by, the University of Georgia, but located in the Northeast Georgia Mountains at the Thompson Mills Forest, Brisselton, Georgia. This arboretum features 330 acres with granite outcrop, the Lee Creek Native Tree Trail, the Panitum Trail, and the 7-acre Evan Thompson Thornton Memorial Garden 30-minute self-guided walk. Groups are welcome, the forest is open year-round weekdays, guides can be made available, though there are self-guided tours, and parking is on site. The university's Warnell School of Forestry and Natural Resources uses the forest and environs in its goal to prepare leaders in the conservation and sustainable management of forests and other renewable natural resources using the latest ideas and technology for real-world applications. Topic UGA Marine Extension Service and Skidaway Institute of Oceanography The University of Georgia Marine Extension Service UGA -E consists of several educational outreach facilities in the state of Georgia, including one on the Skidaway Marine Science Campus. The Marine Education Center and Aquarium Mecca operates a small public saltwater aquarium of local marine fish and invertebrates, which is visited by 18,000 schoolchildren per year. There is also a small research facility for shellfish aquaculture. Skidaway Institute of Oceanography is a marine science research institute located on the northern end of Skidaway Island near Savannah, Georgia. In 2012, the Skidaway Institute became a part of the University of Georgia. The institute is used by researchers and students from around the world, including by researchers and students from the University of Georgia and the Georgia Institute of Technology. The University of Georgia Observatory The University of Georgia Observatory is located on top of the physics building on the UGA campus. The observatory hosts colloquia, seminars, research groups, and open houses in addition to being utilized in undergraduate and graduate courses. The observatory is also the home of the Center for Simulational Physics, the Nanoscale Science and Engineering Center and the MRI Physics Lab. In 2013, UGA and Franklin College of Arts and Sciences became the first university to have a star system named after it. The Kepler mission, NASA's first mission capable of finding Earth-size planets, confirmed in 2012 the existence of three new planets in the system known as Kepler-37. This year, NASA authorized the nickname designation of this planetary system as UGA-1785-1785 for the year the University of Georgia was founded. Roger C. Hunter, a Franklin College alumnus, presented the letter of confirmation to then Franklin College Dean Alan Dorsey during a visit to campus. Hunter noted the name to be given to this particular star system due to light captured by the Kepler telescope began its journey towards Earth in 1801 the same year Franklin College was founded. The University of Georgia Golf Course Developed in 1968, the course operates under the Division of Auxiliary Services. The University of Georgia is the only institution of higher education that owns and operates its own PGA Tour co-sanctioned professional golf tournament. Multiple men's and women's Southeastern Conference Championships and three NCAA Women's Championships have been played on the University Golf Course. The course also hosted one of the men's NCAA Regional Tournaments in 2012. The University of Georgia Golf Course is a public golf course and is available to students, faculty, staff, and alumni, as well as the general public. The golf course was renovated in 2006. The Masters Tournament is held in nearby Augusta, Georgia. <laughs> J.W. Fanning Institute for Leadership Development Founded in 1982, the Fanning Institute is named for Vice President and Professor Emeritus J.W. Fanning, who many consider to be the father of leadership in Georgia. The J.W. Fanning Institute provides training in four categories, adult leadership development, youth leadership development, nonprofit and organizational development, and conflict resolution. The Fanning Institute is partnered with the Athens Area Community Foundation and the Orange Duffel Bag Foundation. Topic. Carl Vinson Institute of Government The Institute has helped government leaders navigate change and forge strong directions. 
The Institute is a unit of the Office of Public Service and Outreach at the University of Georgia, and offers training programs for public officials and staff, conducts research on a broad range of questions relevant to governments, and provides assistance to help those governments and agencies run more efficiently and effectively. Academics <laughs> 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 Undergraduate admission scores and faculty to student ratio The Carnegie classification of institutions of higher education characterizes the undergraduate admissions process at UGA as more selective, its most selective admissions category, while the ACT assessment student report places UGA in the highly selective category, the highest category. The Princeton Review ranks the university's admitted students an average of 92 for selectivity on a maximum 99 scale. Incoming students include those from nearly every state and 47 countries around the world. The university considers many factors when making admissions decisions, including high school grades, especially considering the rigor of high school study, including the taking of advanced placement, college board advanced placement, international baccalaureate, college enrollment, and other rigorous classes, considers the scores on standardized tests, SAT or ACT, considers extracurricular activities, and considers personal statements. There were 20 22,980 applications for admission to the class of 2020 enrolling fall 2016, 12,359 were admitted 53.8% and 5,475 enrolled and admissions yield of 44.3%. The middle 50% range of SAT scores for all admitted first-year students was 1850 to 2140 out of 2400, and the middle 50% of ACT composite scores was 27 to 32, the average admitted student scores being in 94th percentile of test takers. The middle 50% range of SAT scores for admitted honors students was 2130-2240 out of 2400, and the middle 50% of ACT composite scores was 32-34. The overall average high school GPA of all enrolled first-year students was 4.04 and first-year students had taken an average of eight high school advanced placement courses. The university has a student-to-faculty ratio of 18 students per faculty member. Topic rankings U.S. News & World Report has ranked the university's undergraduate program as tied for 46th overall among national universities and tied for 13th overall among top public national universities in its 2019 rankings. The University of Georgia School of Public and International Affairs was ranked fourth in the nation, while the Public Management Administration program was ranked second by U.S. News & World Report in 2016. In 2017, the university's Terry College of Business Risk Management management and insurance and real estate programs were ranked respectively second and fifth in the nation. The Management Information Systems program was ranked 10th, while Accounting program was ranked 12th in the nation. The General Undergraduate program was ranked 24th, and the Terry College MBA program ranked 19th. Terry's Undergraduate and Master's Accounting programs were each ranked 11th in the nation by Public Accounting Report. Businessweek named Terry's Executive MBA program 14th in the nation. The School of Environment and Design was named as having the number one landscape architecture program for undergraduates in the nation, as well as number three for postgraduate studies in landscape architecture schools. In 2007, Odom School of Ecology became the first stand alone college or school within a university dedicated to the study of ecology and environmental science. The University of Georgia School of Law was ranked 30th of 201 American Bar Association approved law schools in the 2017 edition of U.S. News & World Report rankings. The law school has sent six clerks to serve justices of the United States Supreme Court in the last 12 years, is fourth among law schools for supplying these clerks for these prestigious Supreme Court positions from 2005 to 2017, and is tenth among all law schools in the country for the total number of federal court clerks accepted from Georgia law. In 2012, American Association of Medical Colleges named UGA ranked ninth in the nation among undergraduate institutions supplying white applicants to medical school, 22nd for most African American applicants to medical school, 31st for most Asian applicants to medical school, the College of Veterinary Medicine was ranked 10th, and College of Pharmacy was ranked 25th in the 2016 edition of U.S. News & World Report rankings. 
Two UGA pharmacy students were selected for the U.S. Navy's Health Services Collegiate Program Medical Service Corps, a selective program that this year accepted only five recipients from applicants across the country. For 2017, The New York Times ranked the University of Georgia as the 10th best public university, while Keipelinger ranked the university 10th in its list of the 100 best values in public colleges. Smart Money, a publication by The Wall Street Journal, named UGA as fourth best salary returns on tuition topping leading flagship universities such as University of California, Berkeley, University of Michigan, University of Washington, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, and University of Virginia. The Princeton Review named the university as top 10 best value public colleges, which names UGA as one of the colleges designated as one of the best overall bargains based on cost and financial aid among the most academically outstanding colleges in the nation. In 2012, Princeton Review also ranked the university as 15th best campus food, 10th best college newspaper and 5th best campus health services. In 2012, the American Council of Trustees and Alumni included the University of Georgia in its What Will They Learn? study, which is an annual evaluation system of colleges and universities. The report assigns a letter grade to 1,070 universities based on how many of the following seven core subjects are required, composition, literature, foreign language, American history, economics, mathematics and science. The University of Georgia was one of 21 schools to receive an A grade, which is assigned to schools that include at least six of the seven designated subjects in their core curriculum. In 2013, Newsweek publication The Daily Beast named the university on its Amazing but overlooked, 25 colleges you haven't considered but should. Listing <inaudible> Rhodes and Marshall Scholars As of 2017, 24 UGA students have been named Rhodes Scholars including Eugene T. Booth and Hervé M. Cleckley, with five of the scholarships awarded since 2008. The university has produced more Rhodes Scholars than all but two other public institutions in the nation. A 2016 Marshall Scholar was the sixth UGA student to earn the award since 2003. The Marshall Scholarship is one of the most selective scholarships available to postgraduates. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Study Abroad Program. The University of Georgia's Office of International Education offers numerous study abroad destinations for a wide array of majors and areas of study. Destinations include Argentina, Belize, Brazil, Antarctica, Canada, China, Croatia, Czech Republic, United Kingdom, Costa Rica, Ireland, Japan, South Korea, India, Finland, France, Germany, Ghana, Italy, New Zealand, Mexico, Poland, Puerto Rico, Russia, the Netherlands, Spain, South Africa, Tanzania, and Turkey. UGA ranks among the top five American universities for the number of students studying abroad, with more than 100 programs in over 50 countries. UGA has faculty study abroad programs on every continent, including Antarctica. Additionally, UGA has signed agreements with several outside study abroad organizations, the American Institute for Foreign Study, Globalinks Learning Abroad, the Institute for Study Abroad IFSA, International Studies Abroad ESA, the School for Field Studies, the Innsbruck International Summer School. Just over 2,000 students, or 6% of the entire campus enrollment graduate and undergraduate study abroad in a given year. In the five years up to 2010, the number of students participating in study abroad programs has nearly doubled. Approximately 30% of the members of recent graduating classes had a study abroad experience. Topic. Partnership with Oxford University The university began its first year-round residential study abroad program at Trinity College of Oxford University in England, where students and faculty live in a three-story Victorian house located in the heart of the city of Oxford and owned by UGA. Founded in 1987, the UGA at Oxford program began as a summer option and expanded to include spring in 1994. With the purchase of the house in 1999, the program became available throughout the academic year. Topic. International residential centers The University of Georgia owns two other international residential centers, one in Cortona, Italy, the other, and UGA's largest, in Monteverde, Costa Rica. 
The UGA Costa Rica campus comprises 155 acres (0.63 square kilometers) and over 36,000 square feet (3,300 square meters) of built space nestled in the country's mountainous Monteverde Cloud Forest, a region that has been celebrated in publications such as Forbes Traveler, Newsweek, and National Geographic. Ever expanding its programmatic offerings, UGA Costa Rica annually offers 23 study abroad programs in 28 disciplines across the fall, spring, Maymester, Junemester, and summer terms. In 2012, the Certification for Sustainable Tourism CST program in Costa Rica recognized the University of Georgia's satellite campus in Costa Rica as one of its four leaves level institutions operating in the country. Run by the Costa Rican Tourism Board, the CST awards excellence in natural, cultural, and social resource management. To receive Level 4 recognition, UGA Costa Rica scored better than 80% in all four categories related to sustainability, impact on the biological, physical surroundings, building and materials management, external client relations and outreach, and socioeconomic impact on the local community. Delta Hall, Washington, D.C. Delta Hall is the University of Georgia in Washington, D.C., residential facility in the Capitol Hill neighborhood on the east side of Stanton Park. The facility, which was purchased by the UGA Foundation in 2013, has undergone extensive renovations to transform the 20,000-square-foot space to a residence hall and learning community. The renovated building provides living quarters, classroom and study space for university students and faculty who participate in UGA's experiential learning programs in the nation's capital including the Washington Semester Program. <laughs> UGA Honors Program The University of Georgia has a nationally top 10 ranked, highest overall rated, and nationally acclaimed honors program. After gaining acceptance to the university, students must apply separately to the honors program and demonstrate significant additional academic achievement to be accepted. Foundation Fellows and the Ramsey Scholars programs are housed within the honors program. In 2016, the average GPA of entering honors freshmen was 4.2, the middle 50% range of SAT scores for admitted honors students was 2130-2240 out of 2400, and the middle 50% range of ACT composite scores was 32-34. Through the honors program, students are able to participate in early registration for classes and register for special honors only courses. Honors courses are taught by specially selected faculty with an average class size from 17 to 20 students, with many having significantly fewer students. Those wishing to graduate with high or highest honors must complete a capstone experience consisting of graduate courses, a senior thesis, or a special project prior to graduation. Honors students may elect to reside in the Myers Hall, which is reserved for honors students, or apply to reside in Rutherford Hall of the Franklin Residential College FRC, a residential college based on the Oxford and Cambridge model. The program allows qualified undergraduates to pursue a curriculum leading to a bachelor's AB, BS, and a master's mega -amper per mega -siemens degree in four years. The Honors International Scholars Program HISP sets up honors students to study abroad on paid scholarship and internships. Topic: <laughs> Center for Undergraduate Research Opportunities. The Center for Undergraduate Research Opportunities, CURO, which is administered by the Honors Program, promotes opportunities for all undergraduate students at the University of Georgia to engage in research with premier research faculty regardless of discipline, major or GPA. CURO operates on the premise that it is possible for undergraduate students and faculty members to cooperatively engage in the creation of knowledge. Research faculty members who participate in Kuro consider students partners in a learning community, and many students find they develop mentoring relationships focused on conducting research. Participating in undergraduate research contributes to the intellectual, professional, and personal growth of students. Through in-depth research with faculty members, students can explore questions and issues of interest as lines of inquiry develop through their undergraduate careers, earning academic credit in the process. Topic. Research 
The University of Georgia is classified in the highest ranking, R1, Doctoral Universities, Highest Research Activity, with comprehensive doctoral programs across the arts, sciences, engineering, law, and medicine according to the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching. Since 2003, UGA has increased its research spending to transform the university's competitiveness in the global sphere. In 2012, the university announced a new initiative to bolster research spending at the university. More than 300 different products originating from UGA research are on the market. In 2012, total sponsored awards regarding research totaled $234.88 million. The University of Georgia Research Foundation has over 1,000 active licenses with technologies licensed in countries on all continents. In 2012, UGARF held more than 500 U.S. and foreign patents. UGA ranked second among all universities for most licenses and options executed in FY 2010 marking the fourth consecutive year that UGA has been ranked second. UGA also ranked 9th among all public universities for FY 2010 licensing income, and 18th of all universities, for total licensing revenue over the three-year period FY 2008-2010 of $61.30. In November 2012, the University of Georgia was elected to the University Corporation for Atmospheric Research, recognition of its growing reputation in atmospheric and related science. UGA is the 78th member of UCAR, which was founded in 1960. Universities invited to join UCAR must demonstrate continuing commitment to programs of study and research in atmospheric sciences and a commitment to active participation in UCAR activities. In addition to extensive individual and group scholarly inquiry, creative activity, and research by professors and students, Georgia has research centers and institutes that include the following few examples among many others. Topic. Paul D. Coverdell Center for Biomedical and Health Sciences Named after U.S. Senator Paul D. Coverdell, this $30 million facility totals 140,000 square feet 13, square meters, giving enough room for 25 research teams or roughly 275 scientists, staff and graduate students. The center was designed mainly to maximize energy efficiency. Laboratory intensive groups at the Coverdell Center include the Center for Tropical and Emerging Global Diseases CTEGD, the Developmental Biology Group DBG, and the Bioimaging Research Center BIRC, the Health and Risk Communications Group HRCG, the Administrative Homes of the College of Public Health CPH, the Biomedical Health Sciences Institute BHSI, and the CPH's Department of Health Administration, Biostatistics and Epidemiology. Former President George H. W. Bush spoke at the center's grand opening in 2006. Topic: <laughs> Institute of Bioinformatics. Founded in fall 2002, the institute is responsible for supporting campus-wide bioinformatics research at UGA. Institute members conduct bioinformatics research in a wide range of areas, ranging from structural genomics and bioinformatics, plant genomics, microbial genomics, biomedical and cancer bioinformatics and computational and statistical sciences for bioinformatics. The institute grants Ph.D. and M.S. degrees in bioinformatics as well as a graduate certificate in bioinformatics. In 2012, IOB Director Jessica Kissinger and IOB and Mathematics Assistant Professor Juan B. Gutierrez joined a collaborative effort on a malaria host pathogen interaction research center that was awarded up to $19.4 million by a National Institutes of Health contract. The collaborative project is in conjunction with Emory University, Georgia Institute of Technology, Emory's Yerkes National Primate Research Center and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC. Topic University of Georgia Marine Institute and Skidaway Institute of Oceanography Sapelo Island, off the Georgia coast, is home to the University of Georgia Marine Institute, a nearshore ecological and geological research institute. The mission of the Institute is to support and conduct research on coastal processes involving the unique ecosystems of coastlines. It also provides access and facilities for graduate and undergraduate classes to experience field research. 
In 2012, UGA acquired the Skidaway Institute of Oceanography the Marine Science Research Institute that was founded in 1968, to join the University of Georgia Marine Institute that was founded in 1953. The realignment was part of an effort to streamline research and educational goals of both institutions. Topic coastal Plain Research Arboretum The Coastal Plain Research Arboretum 38 acres 150,000 square meters is an arboretum in Tifton, Georgia, located on the grounds of the Tifton campus of the University of Georgia. The arboretum was established in 1987, with plant development and selection starting in 1991. It consists of streamside forest and wetland, and is dedicated to native plant species of the Georgia coastal plain. The arboretum contains pine woods, a native azalea collection, and approximately 280 taxa of native trees, shrubs, and herbaceous plants. It is one of several institutions active in efforts to conserve the endangered Torea taxifolia. The arboretum director is John M. Reuter, professor of horticulture at the university's Tifton campus. Topic James M. Cox. Junior Institute The James M. Cox, Jr. Institute for Journalism Innovation, Management and Leadership Cox Institute is a training, research and outreach unit in the Grady College of Journalism and Mass Communication. The institute has extended its mission to focus on innovation, management and leadership as digital technologies transform the organization, practices and management of journalistic enterprises. The Cox Institute prepares students and professionals for leadership roles in the news media. By sponsoring intensive training programs and funding applied research, the Cox Institute is at the forefront of addressing the strategic challenges faced by contemporary news organizations. The James M. Cox Jr. Center for International Mass Communication Training and Research Cox Center conducts research such as how media organizations structure news coverage, with particular focus on the coverage of international news, research on copyright and its consequences, the role of the media in transmitting information about health, and examination by social sciences of the role played by the mass media in the development of democracy. The Cox Center also publishes various books and monographs on topics such as mass media in Eastern and Central Europe, information societies and the developing world, and appraisal of the Great Britain's Code of Practice on its freedom of information. It also hosts foreign journalists in its Murrow program, its conference on media and the public sphere, and other symposia. Finally, the Cox Center supports students in Grady College through scholarships and graduate research assistantships. Topic. UGA MCG Medical Partnership In 2010, the University of Georgia partnered with the Medical College of Georgia MCG at Augusta University o, formerly Georgia Health Sciences University to create a four-year medical education program in Athens providing for the granting of MD degrees at UGA to help alleviate a statewide shortage of physicians that exists in Georgia, as well as to increase research on disease prevention and treatment. The Augusta University's College of Nursing also has a satellite campus in Athens, and the UGA College of Pharmacy has a satellite campus in Augusta. Augusta University was the only public medical school in Georgia, the Medical College of Georgia and is one of four Georgia research universities. The MCG UGA Medical Partnership combines the significant instructional and research resources of UGA, the state's flagship land grant, Sun Grant, Sea Grant, Space Grant Research University, with the medical expertise of AU's Medical College. First and second year medical students at UGA study medical science and clinical skills in a program that parallels the Augusta curriculum of the Medical College of Georgia. Then third and fourth year rotations are provided at area clinics and hospitals. In addition to increasing the number of physicians in Georgia, the partnership will expand research collaborations between MCG and UGA, creating new insights into the prevention and treatment of diseases such as diabetes, heart disease and cancer. Students from the MCG, University of Georgia Medical Partnership, graduate students from the University of Georgia College of Public Health, and visiting scholars reside on the University of Georgia's recently acquired New Health Sciences campus in Athens. The 56-acre UGA Health Sciences campus has an extensive landscaped green space with more than 400 trees and several historic buildings. The nearly 63,000 square feet of building space on the new Health Sciences campus include classrooms, rooms for small group and clinical skills teaching, lab space for gross anatomy, pathology and histology, a medical library, and faculty offices. 
The Medical Partnership Administration is housed in Winnie Davis Hall which was built in 1902. Topic: <inaudible> Bioenergy Systems Research Institute. The Bioenergy Systems Research Institute conducts research in bioenergy that recognize the entire life cycle and environmental impact of biomass production, harvesting, transport, treatment, conversion, and recycling. In 2013, the institute received a $20 million from the United States Department of Energy Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy and the Golden Field Office The institute was established to help bolster the university's research expenditure in environmental science. The 2013 SEC Academic Symposium, an academic conference-type event intended to address a scholarly issue in an area of strength represented by all SEC universities, was organized and led by the University of Georgia and the UGA Bioenergy Systems Research Institute in Atlanta, Georgia. The topic of the symposium was titled, The Impact of the Southeast in the World's Renewable Energy Future. UGA Small Satellite Research Laboratory The University of Georgia Small Satellite Research Laboratory was founded in 2016 by students with the help of researchers, scientists, and faculty associated the Center for Geospatial Research. The SSRL is funded by the NASA USIP Undergraduate Student Instrument Project to build a CUBE satellite for low Earth orbit. The SSRL is also part of the Air Force Research Laboratories AFRL University Nanosatellite Program UNP. The SSRL is student-led and will be building UGA's first satellite, a CubeSat, which will be sent to the International Space Station for deployment in late 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Student life The University of Georgia has registered nearly 700 student organizations, cultural groups, intramural sport teams, religious groups, volunteer and community service programs and philanthropic groups run by both graduate and undergraduate students. Student organizations include Democratic Party and Republican Party student groups, Arch Society, student philanthropies such as UGA Heroes, UGA Habitat for Humanity, UGA Miracle and UGA Relay for Life. In 2013, UGA was recognized by the President's Higher Education Community Service Honor Roll by the Corporation for National and Community Service. The honor is the highest federal recognition a college or university can receive for its commitment to volunteering, service learning and civic engagement. The 2013 designation marked the seventh consecutive year UGA was named on the honor roll. Topic. Greek life. The University of Georgia maintains one of the South's oldest Greek systems, and the fraternity and sororities maintain homes both on and off campus. There are a number of secret societies that exist at the university, such as Palladia and Gridiron. A group unique to UGA is the men's secret society known as the Order of the Greek Horsemen which annually inducts five fraternity men, all leaders of the Greek system. Its purpose and function remains a closely guarded secret. The Panhellenic sororities also have a secret society known as Trust of the Pearl, which inducts five accomplished sorority women each spring. The first Greek letter fraternity to charter at the university was Sigma Alpha Epsilon in 1865, and the first sorority was Phi Mu in 1921. There are 17 sororities from the Panhellenic Council, 26 North American Interfraternity Conference fraternities, and eight National Panhellenic Council fraternities and sororities. Students with Greek affiliation made up 23% of the undergraduate student body as of 2007, including 21% of the males and 24% of the females. In the fall semester of 1997, six women started an Asian interest sorority, Alpha Sigma Rho, which would become the first in the state of Georgia. In 2000, Georgia Tech followed suit with the establishment of a chapter of Alpha Sigma Rho. In 2005 the university announced that five fraternities on Lumpkin Street would have to be relocated by June 2008. The school plans to build academic buildings on the house sites, which the university owns and the fraternities lease. UGA offered to relocate the Lumpkin fraternities and two others to River Road a former site of several fraternities who were moved out in the 1990s, located on East Campus. 
Kappa Alpha Order and Chi Phi did not take up the offer and decided to move off campus. Kappa Alpha Order moved to Hancock Street while Chi Phi built a house on Millage Avenue. In October 2008, Pi Kappa Alpha, Phi Delta Theta, Tau Epsilon Phi and Sigma Nu broke ground for the new Greek park located on River Road. The four new houses were completed in August 2009 for Fall Rush. Sigma Chi, having signed a renewable 40-year land lease with the university in 1996, continued to maintain their house next to the Zell B. Miller Learning Center. However, in fall of 2012, Sigma Chi's housing lease was up for negotiation with UGA administration. The fraternity's property was to be relocated off-campus to accommodate new academic buildings for the Terry College of Business. Construction of the new Business Learning Center began its planning phase in early 2013, ground was broken in December 2013, and its first phase was completed in July 2015. Construction for the third and final phase of the Business Learning Center is set to begin 2017 and complete in 2019. Topic student housing Housing at the university is managed by the Department of University Housing. On-campus housing for undergraduate students is divided into seven communities, and for graduate students into three communities. Topic Reserve Officer Training Corps The University of Georgia Reserve Officer Training Corps is the official officer training and commissioning program at the university. Founded in 1801, it is one of the oldest such programs in the nation. The UGA ROTC Bulldog Battalion Army and UGA AFROTC Flying Bulldogs Air Force offers commissions for the United States Army into active duty service, the Army Reserves, or the Army National Guard, as well as into the United States Air Force. The battalion is one of the oldest in the U.S. Memorial Hall was built with funds which Georgia alumni raised following World War I and was dedicated in 1924 to those who had given their lives the war. The Reserve Officer Training Corps offers training in the military sciences to students who desire to perform military service after they graduate. The departments of the Army, and the Air Force each maintain an ROTC detachment on campus and each individual department has a full staff of military personnel. Topic student Government Association Executives of the University of Georgia's Student Government Association SGA make up the Student Advisory Council, which is composed of student government presidents from every public college or university within the university system of Georgia. The Student Advisory Council is organized to advise the Georgia Board of Regents, through the Chancellor, on issues that are important to students. Topic student media The Red and Black The Red and Black R&B is UGAS as an independent daily newspaper. Established in 1893 and independent of the university since 1980, The Red and Black is the largest college newspaper in Georgia and the tenth largest newspaper in the state of Georgia. Students published its first issue in tabloid format on November 24, 1893, from offices in the academic building on North Campus. Since then, the newspaper has grown to be widely read. It is operationally and financially independent from the university. The paper receives no student activity fees or other funding from UGA. The paper is self-sufficient through the sale of advertising making it one of the few student newspapers to do so. The newspaper has won numerous awards nationally. In 2012, the Princeton Review named the Red and Black Tenth among the nation's best student newspapers. It has a photos and videos division dubbed R&B TV. R&B TV publishes various videos relating to the University of Georgia and the community at large. Wugga FM Radio Wugga FM is the radio station run by the University of Georgia. Just before 6 a.m. on the morning of August 28, 1987, Wugga FM signed on for its first day of broadcasting to Athens and the surrounding area. Wugga FM broadcasts with 6,000 watts in an omnidirectional pattern. Wugga FM radio is the third most listened to station in Athens market out of 18 stations reported. It is the most listened to station for people with managerial, administrative or professional occupations. Ampersand Magazine launched in 2011. Ampersand Magazine is a UGA monthly publication catered to Athens residents. The magazine is a subsidized by the Red and Black Pre-Med Magazine at UGA. Pre-Med Magazine is a student organization that aims to help pre-medical students at the University of Georgia achieve success in the medical field. This club is open for students of all majors and concentrations. Topics range from student achievement in medicine and health science to recent innovations in biomedical sciences. Topic. Sustainability 
The Odom School of Ecology became the first stand-alone college or school within a university dedicated to the study of ecology and environmental science. The school was named after UGA professor and ecologist, Eugene Odom, who pioneered the modern study of ecology. The university has made several advancements in sustainability in the past decade. Under the UGA Facilities Management Division, the Office of Sustainability was initiated in 2010 as part of a strategic directive to enhance conservation of resources and long-term sustainability at the university. Through long-term environmental initiatives, under President Michael F. Adams the university established the office after support from students and faculty and residents of the Athens area. The Office of Sustainability's mission is to continue to improve environmental sustainability in many different areas on campus. The initiative was a result of a 2009 report of the Working Group on Sustainability at the University of Georgia and the Green Initiative Fund student-led campaign. The Green Initiative Fund modeled their funding campaign after a similar campaign by students at the University of California Berkeley. As of 2013, the Office of Sustainability has awarded a total of $59,000 to fund 17 student-initiated sustainability projects at UGA. The Campus Sustainability Grants Program has helped foster several student initiatives, including water bottle refilling stations in the Zell B. Miller Learning Center. Dogs Ditch the Dumpster. Residence Hall Move Out Donation Program, Tanyard Creek Chew Crew Prescribed Grazing Project for Invasive Plant Removal and Material Reuse Program, which uses salvaged items to construct school and community gardens. The University and Athens Clark County established a bicycle master plan to improve the mobility of students on campus while remaining environmentally conscious. In 2009, the University of Georgia earned LEED certification from the U.S. Green Building Council with high marks for the expansion of the Tate Student Center. The renovated Tate Student Center became the sixth building on a university campus in the state of Georgia to be certified at the gold level and the second to be so designated in Athens. Following Tate's certification, Building 1516, a university housing complex constructed in 2010, is seeking leadership in energy and environmental design lead certification. The certification would mark the first LEED certified housing complex at the University of Georgia. The LEED Green Building Rating System provides a set of standards for environmentally sustainable construction and maintenance. Features of the building include, locations on each floor for students to recycle materials, increased levels of fresh air in the building, Energy Star qualified products, bioretention systems located near the building to filter pollutants from and treat stormwater runoff, a rainwater catchment system for water recycling among other installments. In 2012 the College of Environmental Design's $10.4 million Visual Arts Building became the first UGA building to incorporate a water reclamation system and it became the first UGA building to utilize solar harvesting technology through solar panels. In 2013 the university hosted the inaugural SEC Symposium in Atlanta. The topic is the Southeast's impact on the future of renewable energy, and the participants are the 14 universities of the SEC, as supported by its new academic initiative, SECU. In the same year, the university was named by the National Arbor Foundation as a designated Tree Campus USA for the third time in a row as a result of the university's continued commitment to maintaining and adding new foliage. UGA has more than 9,000 trees on campus, according to an ongoing tree mapping project being conducted by the University Grounds Department. The number will continue to grow due to a partnership between Select Sustainable Tree Trust and UGA. In 2009, the Select Sustainable Tree Trust selected the university to receive a $1 million tree donation to re-green and impact the university campus with large-scale, sustainable shade trees. Topic. Athletics The University of Georgia varsity athletic teams participate in the NCAA's Division I FBS as a member of the Southeastern Conference. Since the 1997–1998 season, UGA has seven top ten rankings in the National Association of Collegiate Directors of Athletics NACDA Directors' Cup, a numerical ranking based on the success of universities in all varsity sports. 
The university has won national championships in football, women's gymnastics, women's equestrian 2003, 2004, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2014, baseball, tennis, men's and women's, golf, men's and women's, and women's swimming and diving. The Gym Dogs, the university's women's gymnastics team, have a NCAA leading 10 national championships in gymnastics, including five consecutive championships from 2005 to 2009. The Bulldogs' most historic rivalry is with the nearby Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. However, major rivalries have grown since, including the rivalry with the Florida Gators, and with the Auburn Tigers, referred to as the Deep South's oldest rivalry, in reference to the first football game played between the two teams in 1892 and the more than 100 meetings since. In 2011, Huffington Post named Florida Georgia football rivalry one of college football's top ten rivalries. The university also hosts several non-varsity sports, including wrestling, men's soccer, crew, ultimate frisbee, rugby, lacrosse, and ice hockey. Georgia's men's soccer team received a bid to play in the Nursa Club National Championship for the first time in 2007. Despite the program's success, however, Title IX restrictions prevent the UGA men's team from competing on the varsity level as the women's is allowed to do. Similarly, University of Georgia men are not permitted to compete with a varsity gymnastics team, again due to Title IX restrictions. Several varsity sports are duplicated with non-varsity teams, such as women's tennis. Georgia's men's lacrosse team has won the Southeastern Lacrosse Conference three times, in 1998, 2007, and 2008, and received an automatic bid to the Men's Collegiate Lacrosse Association National Tournament, while the women's team earned an at-large bid to the WDIA National Tournament in 2007. UGA's athletic program has a program that finds student-athletes for unexcused absences in class. And, for the first time in school history, more than 50% of student-athlete GPAs were over 3.0. In addition, many other universities are looking to UGA's plan as a model. As of 2012, UGA's football athlete graduation rate has continued to increase. Roughly 81%, slightly higher than the national average, according to the NCAA. The graduation success rate nationally for football was 70%, and for men's basketball was 74%. Topic. 1996 Summer Olympic Games The University of Georgia played an instrumental role in Atlanta's bid for the 1996 Summer Olympics. UGA conducted a majority of the preliminary studies for the economic impact of bringing the Olympic Games to Atlanta, and hosted many Olympic events. In 1987, Atlanta attorney and former football player at the University of Georgia, William Billy. Payne, conceived the idea of hosting the 1996 Summer Olympic Games. Atlanta Mayor Andrew Young was among the first to join Payne in the quest to develop a bid and sell the proposal, first to local business leaders, then to the U.S. Olympic Committee, and finally to the members of the International Olympic Committee The home of the Bulldogs hosted the medal round of the men's and women's Olympic soccer in July 1996. Sanford Stadium was temporarily converted into a soccer stadium which saw to the removal of the privet hedges surrounding the playing field. The hedges had been symbolic to UGA since the early 1930s. The hedges were restored after the Olympic Games. In 1996, UGA's High Point was selected as the training site for the U.S. dressage team, which competed in the Summer Olympic Games at the International Horse Park in Conyers, Georgia. The university's basketball stadium, Stegman Coliseum, was the venue for volleyball and rhythmic gymnastics. Topic. Traditions Topic. The colors Georgia's original colors included old gold, until the intense rivalry between Georgia Tech and Georgia around 1891 resulted in a skirmish over colors. Georgia students and alumni declared yellow an unfit color for the Georgia Bulldogs, deeming it a cowardly color. After the 1893 football game against Georgia Tech, University of Georgia President, Dr. Charles Hurdy, removed old gold as an official school color. Crimson, also referred to as, good old Georgia red, and black have been the official colors ever since. The decision to include crimson red is also thought to be a tribute to the state of Georgia and a reminder of the university's flagship status. Kaolinite, commonly referred to as 
Georgia red clay is commonly found throughout the state, especially in the Red Hills region. The red color that is so evident in Georgia soils is due primarily to iron oxides. The mascot The origin of the English bulldog representing UGA, came from Yale University, with whom UGA had strong ties in its early years. Many early buildings and campus plans followed the layout of Yale. The Bulldog mascot stems from university's founding father and first president, Abraham Baldwin, who was a graduate of Yale. The Bulldogs were thought to be a tribute to Baldwin's alma mater. The term, Georgia Bulldogs, was first coined on November 3, 1920 by Atlanta Journal-Constitution writer Morgan Blake. After a 0-0 tie with University of Virginia in Charlottesville on November 6, 1920, Atlanta Constitution writer Cliff Wheatley used the name. Bulldogs, in his story five times. The name caught on and has been used ever since. UGA the Bulldog is the official live mascot of the Georgia Bulldogs. UGA is from a line owned by Frank W. Sonny Siler of Savannah, Georgia since 1956. The current line began with UGA I, a solid white English Bulldog who was the grandson of a former Georgia mascot who made the trip to the 1943 Rose Bowl. Perhaps the most famous UGA was UGA V who made appearances in the movie Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. UGA V was also featured on the cover of the April 1997 edition of Sports Illustrated. UGA X became the mascot in 2015. Of course, although the University of Georgia is now known as the home of UGA, several mascots including other pure white English Bulldogs led the red and black before Frank Seiler provided the current lineage. The University of Georgia is the only major college that buries its mascots within the confines of its stadium. Ugas I, II, III, IV, V, V, VII and VIII are buried in marble vaults near the main gate in the embankment of the south stands of Sanford Stadium. Epitaphs to the dogs are inscribed in bronze, and before each home game, flowers are placed on their graves. The Chapel Bell The Chapel Bell is a historic monument and long-standing tradition of the University of Georgia. The Chapel Bell is located on the historic North Campus. Built in 1832, when Protestant Orthodoxy dominated the campus region, the chapel was a center of campus activities. A daily religious service, which students were required to attend, were held there, as were assemblies and commencements. The bell was also rung to mark the beginning and the end of class. Over the years, the chapel bell has served as an athletic tradition at the University of Georgia. The ringing of the chapel bell after a Georgia victory is a tradition that has endured since the 1890s. In Georgia football's early days, Hurdy Field was located only yards from the chapel, and first year students were compelled to ring the bell until midnight in celebration of a Bulldog victory. Today, students, alumni, fans and townspeople still rush to the chapel to ring the bell after a victory. The bell is also utilized for university meetings and events, weddings and remembrance ringing. The bell was rung in memory of victims of the September 11 attacks in 2001. After the 2012 Sandy Hook shooting, the University of Georgia partook in a nationwide mourning by ringing the chapel bell in honor of the victims of the shooting. On October 27, 2007, as tradition warrants, Georgia fans rang the chapel bell to celebrate the 42 30 win over arch rival, the Florida Gators. The excitement caused the yoke holding the 877 LB bell to give way, and it fell from the support platform. UGA Physical Plant has returned the bell to its historic post and as of November 2017 still rings daily across campus. Topic. Founders Week January 27, 1785, marked the chartering of the University of Georgia. Each year, January 27 is commemorated to honor UGA's place in the history of American colleges and universities. The tradition began in 2002 and is now celebrated as Founders Week. During Founders Week, a series of celebrations are hosted by various campus departments including the Student Alumni Association and the Student Government Association. The Emeriti Scholars, a group of retired faculty members especially known for their teaching abilities and continued involvement in the university's academic life, sponsor the Founders Day Lecture. 
The lecture is held in the UGA chapel and has become a Founders Day tradition, drawing alumni, students, faculty, esteemed guests and members of the community. The Arch In 1857, the University of Georgia constructed a cast iron representation of the architectural elements featured on the obverse of the Great Seal of the State of Georgia. It stands at the north entrance of the campus, and has become known as the Arch. Fashioned from existing material, the Arch is a representation but not an exact replica of the architectural elements of the seal. Originally serving both symbolic and practical functions, it was connected to a barrier which kept cows from roaming over parts of the campus, and was initially known as the Gate. It serves as the official icon and a historic landmark for the university. Since the 1900s, tradition has held that students may not pass beneath the arch until they have received a diploma from the University of Georgia. Those who walked under the arch prior to graduation commencement were to said to never graduate. The tradition began when Daniel Huntley Redfern, class of 1910, arrived as a freshman from Boston, Georgia and vowed not to pass beneath the arch until he had graduated. One of Redfern's professors heard the vow and repeated it to his class, and the tradition has stood ever since. Many freshmen, learning of the tradition during orientation or from other sources still choose to honor the century-old tradition. Years of following the tradition are visible on the concrete steps leading to the arch. Steps to each side have been worn down over the years as undergraduates have kept their vows. The arch has been a site of historic political demonstrations. In 1961, when UGA officials desegregated the university with the admission of its first two African American students, Hamilton Holmes and Charlene Hunter Galt. The arch was a witness to students protesting both for and against segregation in the protesting the Persian Gulf War and a demonstration following the 1970 shootings at Kent State University. In 2001, along with the Chapel Bell, the arch was the site of a memorial to the victims of the September 11th attacks. Topic: The fight song and alma mater. Glory, glory is the rally song for the Georgia Bulldogs. Glory, glory is sung to the tune of the Battle Hymn of the Republic. It was sung at games as early as the 1890s, but arranged in its present form by Georgia's musician composer Hugh Hodgson in 1915. There have been many bulldog songs through the years and at least two collections dating back to 1909 have been published, but Glory, Glory has been the most accepted among students and alumni. The only known original reference to the piece is in a history of the Redcoat Band written in 1962, which briefly mentions the march as Georgia's first original school song, and notes that, all copies of the work have been lost. The document is kept in the university's Hargret Library for rare and historic documents, although, Glory, Glory, is generally thought to be the school's fight song. The official fight song is, Hail to Georgia. The fight song is played by the Georgia Redcoat Marching Band after touchdowns, field goals, and extra points scored by the football team. The Georgia Redcoat Marching Band is a 375-member marching band. First directed in 1905 by R.E. Hahi, the band has only had seven directors. The Alma Mater is the official school song of the University of Georgia. The Alma Mater was created by two students at Cornell University around 1870. The melody was taken from a melancholy ballad, Annie Lyle written by Boston musician H. S. Thompson in the late 1850s. Since its founding, the Cornell Melody has been used by many colleges and universities including University of Georgia, University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, Indiana University and the University of Missouri. The song is sung at commencement and various official events of the University of Georgia. Topic. Playing Between the Hedges and Sanford Stadium Sanford Stadium is the on-campus playing venue for football at the University of Georgia in Athens. The 92,746-seat stadium is the seventh-largest stadium in the National Collegiate Athletic Association. The stadium is the eighth-largest non-racing stadium in the United States and the 14th-largest such stadium in the world. The stadium played host to the Olympic medal competition of men's and women's Olympic football soccer at the 1996 Summer Olympics. The University of Georgia playing 
between the hedges is a reference to Sanford Stadium that dates back to the early 1930s. The famous Chinese privet hedges that surround Sanford's playing field were only one foot high when the stadium was dedicated in 1929 and were protected by a wooden fence. Sports writers, referring to an upcoming home game, were said to observe that the Bulldogs will have their opponent between the hedges. Quote, the phrase was coined by the Atlanta sports writer Grantland Rice. Games played there are said to be played between the hedges due to the privet hedges, which had stood around the field since 1929, but removed in the summer of 1996 so that soccer could be played for the 1996 Summer Olympics. New, albeit considerably shorter, hedges were restored in the fall of 1996. The hedges have been dubbed Hedges 2 by UGA fans. Topic. The Dog Walk The Dog Walk is a Saturday football tradition and celebration at University of Georgia home games when UGA students and fans line up in the Tate Center parking lot to form a tunnel that greets the players and coaches as they enter Sanford Stadium. The team enters the stadium through Gate 10 at Sanford Stadium to the music of the Redcoat Marching Band. The march is often led by the team's costumed mascot Harry Dog. The Dog Walk is preceded by two show section shows. The Redcoat Sousaphones perform a warm up concert in the Tate Center assembly area, while the Redcoat Drumline performs a drum show in the parking lot. Topic. Notable alumni The University of Georgia has more than 275,000 living alumni worldwide. Alumni relations are maintained by the UGA Alumni Association. The UGA Alumni Association seeks to support the academic, research and traditions of UGA's faculty, staff, students and its alumni. The Student Alumni Association is a subsidiary within the Alumni Association for current students interested in participating in alumni relations and external affairs. 26 governors have been graduates of the university, along with numerous federal and state judges, U.S. and state senators and representatives, as well as leaders in science, medicine, teaching, the arts, writing and journalism, history, public administration, social sciences, etc. 18 UGA alumni are presidents or provosts of colleges and universities in the United States, and 9 UGA graduates have received the Pulitzer Prize. See also President's House Topic Notes Topic References Topic Further reading Boney, FNA Pictorial History of the University of Georgia Athens, Georgia, U of Georgia p. 2000. Boney, F. N. A Walking Tour of the University of Georgia. Athens, Georgia, U of Georgia. Coulter, E. Merton 1983. College Life in the Old South, as seen at the University of Georgia. Athens, University of Georgia Press. ISBN 978-0-8203-3199-7. Retrieved February 20, 2018. Dooley, Vince. History and Reminiscences of the University of Georgia. Athens, Georgia, U of Georgia p. Johnson, Amanda. Georgia as Colony and State. Atlanta, Georgia, Walter W. Brown Publishing Co., 1938, pp. 187, 247, 376, 429 430, 569 570. Reed, Thomas Walter. History of the University of Georgia. Athens, Georgia, U of Georgia p. 1949. Reed, Thomas Walter. Uncle Tom. Reed's Memoir of the University of Georgia. Athens, Georgia, U of Georgia p. 1974. Topic. External links Official website Georgia Athletics website